Hello lovers, in this video we're going to be going through our predictions for OCL Gateway Biology Paper 1. Now, last year we predicted every single topic that came up on the AQA Biology Papers and this year we're aiming to do the same with the OCL Gateway Papers. But I don't forget to do with this, we've got a brand new Grade 9 review walkthrough of all the points you need to know from a project examiner and also there's a foundation version as well. Along with this video, to help you get towards those top grades, we've got our predicted papers, which you can download from the website, and then the walkthroughs, where Dr. Edwards goes through what command words mean, how to structure your answer, and how to spot the clues that the examiners have left for you. You can watch the video here, or in the boot camps and the masterclasses, which come with live revision sessions and all of the papers. Now, Dr. Edwards has been an examiner for years, and she has made these predictions based on our analysis, looking over the previous year's exam papers and her in-depth knowledge of the exams. But please remember, these are just predictions. We haven't seen the actual exam papers, so please revise absolutely everything. Our predictions here, what we used to write out the predictive papers, so you can use this as a starting point, or if you need to help us focus your revision before the exam this week. Now, I'm going to start with combined science, but you can use the to to jump to separate science predictions if that is what you are looking for. So, for combined science, don't forget if you want to set questions or explanations to go with these, that is all in the predictive papers and in the walkthroughs. Now, we know this exam loves cells, so make sure you know the features, the different types of cells, the bacterial, plant, and animal cells, and we want you to pay attention to differentiation and specialised cells in detail. Sticking with cells, we'd like you to look at magnification, so the details of the microscope, magnification calculations, and how you can actually use one in a practical sense. How water ions and other substances that move around cells, so diffusion, active transport, and osmosis, including practicals for osmosis, and how surface area to volume ratio affects movement of these things. Remember, when we're talking about practicals, we need to be expecting things in a new context. So it won't be exactly the same as the one you're used to doing in a class. Your practical activity groups will pay you really well for this. In biology, proteins and enzymes are always significant topics, so you can understand the enzyme activity really, really. Including graphical representations to have factors like temperature, concentration, pH, influence exam activity, along with any associated practicals that you've done. In addition to cell structure, we want to check how cells divide, so mitosis, the cell cycle, what happens in each part and then what happens when it goes wrong. Think about control of blood glucose, so how it happens in a normal situation and what happens when it doesn't work properly, thinking about looking at diabetes. In addition to all of the other parts, the endocrine system that are important for keeping you healthy. Plants are a big topic, so again, the organisation of the parts of the plants as well as transpiration and substances moving around plants. Keeping with plants, knowing photosynthesis is important as well as respiration. So the word and symbol equations, as well as the factors affecting photosynthesis and aerobic and anaerobic respiration. Now, don't forget the predicted papers are already waiting for you. We've got walkthroughs and we've got revision sessions over on our boot camp. As always, I'm really, really proud of all of your hard work. For separate science, we will predict your papers and video walkthroughs, including a comprehensive set of questions about all of the topics that I'm about to go through. So this exam loves questions about cells, so it's crucial that you understand the characteristics, structure and function, the parts of the different types of cells thoroughly. We also want you to look at differentiation and specifics of specialised cells. Magnification, the practicals, the intricacies of using a microscope, how to calculate magnification, and then the practical application of these concepts. Looking at the movement of water, ions, and other substances within, into, and out of cells is essential. So making sure you're familiar with diffusion, active transport osmosis, including practical experiments related to osmosis and how surface area to volume ratio affects things. When it comes to practical experiments, anticipate encountering scenarios that differ from ones you've done in class because we know they're never going to be exactly the same. Beyond cell structure, cell division, so processes like mitosis and the cell cycle, including implications for error in these processes such as cancer and the treatment of this. Control of blood glucose, so how it happens in a normal situation and then when it doesn't happen normally, so looking at diabetes. 
In addition, all the other parts of the endocrine system that are important for being healthy, as well as regulation of body temperature, so homeostasis. In biology, proteins and enzymes are always big topics, so you can understand enzyme activity comprehensively, including the graph graphical representations of these, so what the graphs look like, the factors, temperature, pH concentration, so enzyme activity, and then all of the associated practicals. Plants are another big area, so the structure and function of the plants, as well as the processes like transpiration of movement substances from our plants, and again, the practical here. Photosynthesis and respiration, including equations for both and factors affecting photosynthesis, both aerobic and anaerobic respiration are important topics. The brain and the eye are really nice small topics that are only in separate science, and these come up frequently. They don't take long to revise, so it's always worth doing these properly. And don't forget to go read these papers. We've got our videos, our walkthroughs, and our bath class, and our boot camps already and waiting for you. Ouch! This is why in some videos I don't explain scratches. Thank you.